Okay Lynn, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get every new and returning Halloween Lumion. So with that being said, let's get into it. First things first, to get to a Halloween event place, you'll have to click on the Navigate app on the top of your screen, and then join a Haunted Village server. And now that you're here, let's first go over the new roaming Lumion, Odo Yaga. We need to get a Haunted Gate Key from the Trick or Treats Exchange minigame, and you're most likely not gonna get on your first attempt unless you're really lucky, and it might just end up taking quite a few attempts. If you have an alt account that can help you, or even a friend, if you have any friends, yeah, that'll definitely help speed up a little bit. But once we have the key, we can follow this path to the gate, and then we can use the key to open it. And once the gate is open, we can head inside of the hut. Once you're inside of the hut, talk to the witch and it'll start a cutscene where a spirit will flee to the next room over. Go ahead and follow it and it'll make us play five games of Spot the Difference, which a lot of these items in these rooms can change, and I mean a lot of them, so keep your eyes peeled. Although, you don't really have to because there is like a little nice cheat that you can do, which is just screenshot in the rooms before you enter the portals. And then once you start the minigames by entering the portals, you'll be able to compare the new rooms to the screenshots that you already took. And once you've beaten all five rooms minigames, the spirit will then open up a staircase which will then lead you to the new roamer, Odo Yaga. Which yes, this is a soft resettable roamer, so if you fail, run or catch the roamer, you'll be able to reset the battle as many times as you want. And once you've finished the battle and are happy with your results, Odo Yaga will then become a wild roaming encounter in the Haunted Village Grass Patches, and its encounter rate will be 1 in 1024 full odds. Next up, let's go over Miriam, which you can find this new Lumion in the Grass Patches in Haunted Village, although it's a fairly rare encounter. Once you do find it low, you can evolve it into Mareif at level 35. Now let's go over Halloween Kabunga and Christmas Kratol's new split trade evolutions. You can find Halloween Kabungas in the Grass Patches as a very common encounter, although unfortunately Christmas Cradle, as its name states, can only be found during the Christmas events, which means as of right now, you'll only be able to use previously caught Christmas Kratos from previous years, or if you don't have any, you'll have to trade for them. But once you have a Halloween Kabunga or a Christmas Kratol, you can trade them for the opposite one, and by doing this, you will get Formin or Lushent, depending on which version was traded to you. Anyway, with that being said, that is all of the new Lumions out of the way, so now let's go over the new reskins. The first one is Skeleton Aklos as the new Roma reskin for this event, which you can find in the grass patches in Haunted Village at an encounter rate of 1 in 1024. There are also six different versions that you can find of them, a blue, red, purple, yellow, orange, and green version. And just to note, just like every previous Skeleton reskin, they all have an alpha version, but not a gamma version. Oh, I might as well mention this here as as well just to throw it in, but all of the gleaming odds for everything in this event is just normal gleaming odds, nothing has a boosted gleaming odds. Anyway, next up, let's go over Missile Buds reskin, which is a fairly rare encounter. But once you've found and caught one, you'll be able to evolve it into Holly Bunch by using a decorated light on it. And then the last reskin is for Cryo Cub, which is another fairly rare encounter. And to evolve Cryo Cub into Barbadger, you'll need to level it up while knowing the move Brawn Boost, which Cryo Cub can learn at level 31. And that's all of the reskins out of the way, so now let's go over all of the returning Lumions. Starting off with Halloween Kabunga and Wakalaka, just like I mentioned before, Halloween Kabunga can be found as a super common encounter. And once you have one, you can evolve it into Wakalaka by trading it while it is holding a Nightmare Orb. Next is Berivi, which is an uncommon encounter. And once you have one, you can evolve it into Idiohusk, a level 22, and then you can evolve it into Harvesect, a level 38, although you'll need to fill up your entire party Minus the bench, the bench doesn't matter, but you need to fill up your entire party with Spirit-type Lumions. And then the last normal Lumion that is specific to the Halloween event is Volpup, which is a Route Rare. And once you've found it and you've caught it, you can evolve it into Halvantic at level 29. And now, finally, let's go over the returning Halloween Roamers, which includes Metronet, Nevermare, and Gargolem. You can find all three of these Lumions in the Grass Patches at an encounter rate of 1 in 1024 full odds. Although so, just to make sure that you're aware, Metronet is on its own encounter table alone, Nevermare and Gargolem are on a different encounter table together, and then Odo Yaga, the new roamer, is also on its own separate encounter table alone. Also, just to mention at the very end, if you didn't play last year's Halloween event, you can still get a Magic Chisel key item from the Battle Coliseum for 48 Coliseum points. The key item will let you change Gargolem into its different forms, being base, then attack, then defense, then speed, 
and then back to base. And with all of that being said, that is how you can get all of the new and returning Halloween Lumians.